Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, it's half time report time. How am I getting on with the pens that I started with at the start of April of 2024? This, it's a use me up month, all about using up pens that are already inked up. So as soon as one finishes, I don't refill it. I just move on and get another currently inked pen and start using that. So we started the month with six pens, the first of which the Jinhao X159. Nice dark blue color on this. It's a fairly light feeling pen, but it's got a real nice size to it. Feels really nice in the hand. Nice width there on the section. Almost as wide as the 9019, but not quite. This one, cartridge converter. I can see that it's empty. This one ran out after a couple of weeks. Really nice fit in the hand. Really comfortable to use. The ink, it's by Noodlers and it's Navajo Turquoise. Now, I do have an issue with Navajo Turquoise ink. It bleeds through. It shows through my page. Terrible. So if I've got something where I'm going to be using both sides of the paper, I try and avoid using Navajo Turquoise. So one of my downsides, one of the lessons I'm learning as I'm going through and getting used to all my pens and inks. When this writes, it writes beautifully. This number eight size nib, it's got nice feedback. Not scratchy feedback, but it's nice. Really enjoyable. So that's the Jinhao X159. The next pen, this is the Asfine P20. Just look at this beautiful resin. Absolutely gorgeous, a stunning pen to look at. Piston converter, not piston converter, it's a piston pen, Gary. Not a piston converter, I don't know, losing my marble. Here you can see we've got the ink window, so you get a good idea of your ink level. The ink I had in here was by Diamine and it was Glacier. So it was a Starbright ink from the 2023 ink vent calendar. Beautiful blue colour, but you get masses of that silver star bright, like silver shimmer. Not really an ink to use for business meetings, but for things like cards, you know, special things where you want it to really stand out. I think it's a really nice ink. I'm hoping that they do star bright in some other colours as well, because it, with, certainly with this blue, it looks very nice. The nib on here, back to a number six with the whereas we had the number eight nib on the 159. Nice and smooth, nice fit in the hand, very reminiscent of the Leonardo Memento Zero line. And the same with the next pen. The next pen, which I'll just quickly show you, is the Marjan or Moonman M800, shape-wise virtually identical. Enjoyable pen to use. I say it looks nice, writes well, the ink was gorgeous. My next pen, this is the Marjan M800. This was one of my first, and to be honest, still one of my favourite Chinese pens. This is the green resin version. There's four colours. There's this green, there's a blue, there's an amber, and there's a purple. The amber one, I've got to be honest, is my favourite. Number six nib, dead easy to swap. That's what I've done on this here. This isn't the Moonman nib that it came with, the Mahjong nib. This is the Goulet Broad nib. It's a Yoho nib. Goes in very easy, writes really well. This pen is cartridge converter. Again, it's another one, it's out of ink, so it's all being thoroughly cleaned and ready to be put away once a month's over. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out, and as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos, and then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members? All down to us. So please, if you can, consider joining the channel a link will be in the description down below. We now start looking at the, what I always call my expensive pens. So I try to have three pens under $100, three pens over $100. The first one, this is the Twisby Draco. Beautiful looking pen. I really do like the looks of this. I like the color, I like the tones, I like the shades that we get in it. Really quite pretty. It's another one, it's a Piston filler, there is still ink in here. Not a lot of ink by the look of it. There we go. 
very hard to tell with this ink window. The ink window, the whole of it is not the actual ink window. Inside that is there is another one. So only about a third of this can be used to show ink. Now I'm not sure if you can see, we're virtually out now. So I may get the rest of today out of it, but I may not. Which in one way is a shame, but because I love writing with it. On the other hand, it's nice to finish a pen, nice to be able to get it cleaned out and put away. Smallish nib. This is one of the things that lets this pen down. I think it's a number five size nib. It's rose gold coloured. It's not rose gold. It's steel. Writes really well, though, for all its size. I mean, at the end of the day, the size, it doesn't matter as long as it writes well. And that's what this does. So that's my Twisby Draco. Up next, again, little jump in price here. Here's the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. I don't have a Memento Zero. I've got this Grande. I've also got a Memento Magico. I love the Grande. This, to me, is perfect size pen for my hand. Really, really nice. I like the old style here, the old style section, the grip section. I don't like what they've done with the new one, where they've gone more to an, an indented one. That's what I've got in my Magico, and I don't find it as comfortable to use as this. This one's another piston filling pen. Downside with this, there is no ink window, so you don't know what your ink level is. So I've had a time where, you know, I've been sat in a meeting, writing away, and it just runs out of ink. Nothing I can do about it. If I'd have known before the meeting, I would have started off with a different pen. It's not an issue because I always carry multiple pens, so I just take another one out and started using that. But it would have been nice to have a rough idea that it was nearly empty. That's the nice thing about the Draco. But it's still, it's a gorgeous, it's a nice pen. I love this spaghetti resin. It looks really well. I love the way it writes. It's got feedback. Not a lot of it, but there's enough to be there. It's really, really nice. The thing that does disappoint me with this is the ink. So the ink in here is Diamine Jack Frost. And I do find that I don't get as much of the red sheen coming through as I would have hoped. And it's not just with this pen, it's any pen that I've had Jack Frost in. Which is a shame because, to me, when you've got like the, a blue ink, which is what Jack Frost is, with that red sheen, the character it adds is really nice. And it's a shame, I do miss that. But it's still nice, it still does what I want. Let's me get ideas out of my head onto paper in a way that I enjoy. So that's the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. The last pen that I started the month with is this. This is the Pilot Custom 823. And this is another one that's empty and has been cleaned out. So this is a vacuum filler. Beautifully it's been filled out, cleaned out, filled out, I don't know. And shut the mechanism. Now, for those that haven't seen it, it's a vacuum filler. So what you do is you pull the plunger all the way to the top. Then you slowly push this down. The seal inside here, that is tight up against the inside. So it's creating a vacuum behind it. And then when we get down near the bottom, so next time I move it, we're going to hit. And you, hopefully you can actually see it. It goes out a little bit inside there, which releases a vacuum, sucks the ink up. What I then do is turn it upside down like this. And then I would push this up until I can see a little bit of ink coming out the nib. Then, I, well, without releasing it, it's a bit tricky to do, so I'd be about there. What I then do is quickly turn it over, pop it in the ink, push it down again. That usually then fills up a bit more, so I can get about three quarters of the body full of ink. The other thing with this, here we've got that plunger again. It's a shut-off valve, so as I close this, you can see that's moving down. And what that does is that seals off the section from the body so that if you're flying where you're likely to get maybe air pressure changes, you're not going to lose the entirety of the ink fill into the section and out and into your cap. But at home, or when I'm sat at a, you know, an office desk or somewhere I'm going to be for a while, I just open that up. Then I don't have to worry about remembering to open it because the problem that you get, if you forget to open the valve, when you're writing, you quickly use up all the ink in the section and, oh dear, it stops writing. Beautiful, lovely, soft nib. It's a 14 karat gold nib. It's a Pilot number 15 size nib. Absolutely love writing this 
It's one of my favourite pens, one of my most expensive pens, but we, it's also, I'd say, one of my favourites. I love the transparent nature so you can see ink flowing around. You can't at the moment because it's being cleaned out. Downside of this, it's a right pain in the backside to clean. Now, I know you, it is possible to take this section off, I believe. I've not attempted to do that because knowing Gary, I'll break it. So what I do is I just stand there with clean water, clean it through, and then flushing it, and then clean it again, and I keep going and going and going until I get four or five times where I can go like this, fill it up, and every time I do it, it it's just clean water. That's how I know when I've got it nice and clean. So let me just seal that down. This is the Pilot Custom 823. So they're the pens that I started this month off with. What pens are you using this month? How do you pick the pens to use? Are they just whatever you fancy at the time? Or like me, do you have an idea of a theme? Please drop your comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.